All right. Hello, everyone. This is Justin Williams Savoy. And what I'm looking at here real quick is just going through some new recent purchases and uh, trying to keep track of an inventory some books that I've gotten of late. I have been a collector of Forgotten Realms, Dragon's Lance, and AD&D, D&D related books for some time, as I also have been a collector of science fiction and fantasy books for some time. And um, some things happened to a pretty good collection that I had of Forgotten Realms stuff. I've discussed before in other videos of mine how tragically I lost a huge um, portion of my personal library, so I'm very happy to announce that I am now building up um, my Forgotten Realms books, um, some Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going to try to get some other AD&D novels um, to go along with my fantasy collection. Um, I do like these, uh, especially I like R.A. Salvatore quite a bit, but there's other stuff here like Douglas Niles... Um, here is another, I like the aesthetic of these, are these newer covers? Um, anyways, Rise of the King, R.A. Salvatore, Waterdeep here, um, as I said, some Douglas Niles stuff. So, I've collected these in the past and I had a pretty big collection, especially I started off like many people have probably, um, probably with uh, Dragonlance stuff and then moved more into Forgotten Realms. And as a child, I think I read some D&D or AD&D books that were kind of like choose your own adventure type of books. And uh, those are really cool as well. So I probably will collect that stuff um, all in good time. But my girlfriend, so much more than girlfriend Autumn and I, were at a used bookstore and I came across these and decided to purchase them. Um, as I'm also collecting um, all of the Robert Jordan Wheel of Time books, I'm trying to get the ones with the more old school, real distinct tour um, books um, cover art that I like more than the modern Wheel of Time um, books. So I'm going to try to, um, I need to make lists of all the stuff, especially of fantasy novels that I've been collecting. Forgotten Realms, The Harpers, Masquerades, 10. And then oftentimes, look at this, there's like a map in here, that's very cool. You know, there's always like... Quite a bit to collect, look at the Harpers. The Part C, Elf, Shadow, Red, Magic, The Night Parade, The Ring of Winter, Crypt of Shadow King, Soldiers of Ice, Elf Song, and Crown of Fire. And I don't know why, but I also um, had some of the Diablo and Icewind Dale books of the past, as probably playing those video games on PC probably brought me into that. And these ones have those TSR logos as opposed to Wizards of the Coast, which is interesting. Anyways, a lot of times I make these videos more for myself to keep track of what I have. I'm going to have to start making some lists so then when I'm out there in the wild, I can kind of hunt down stuff and make sure that I don't purchase doubles. Sword play. Netheril Trilogy Book 1. Ooh, and then I was happy to find a Ravenloft book. Tapestry of Dark Souls. Ravenloft. Tapestry of Dark Souls. Forgotten Realms, Song of Orioles, and this is very cool too because if you're into tabletop role-playing games, these always help you kind of uh, build certain campaigns and kind of fill in the gaps with some lore and mythos from the AD&D universe, from the Forgotten Realms, Iron Helm. So yeah, each one of these two is like three dollars, three fifty, four dollars, very affordable. And I thought, why not? As I was collecting the Wheel of Time books, I thought, you know, I've been thinking a lot about how I want to get my Dragonlance and Forgotten Realms and A D and D related novels built back up. So and I, like many people, started with I think the three Dragonlance books over oh man, like twenty something years ago. It seems like. Forever, 
I like these. I love the aesthetic. So, yeah, I'll make out a list of all the Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance and AD&D, D&D related books. There are some, like I said, I think from when I was a kid from probably, the, I was born in 75, so probably the 80s, um, the 90s of, um, I'm thinking the 80s of um, Dungeons and Dragons, TSR, they're kind of like for single campaign, solo play, um, role playing, kind of like very much like choose your own adventure books. And my girlfriend Autumn and I, we both grew up reading choose your own adventure um, books, as I'm sure um, she's a little bit younger than me. She's about eight years younger than me, um, but still loves those books and grew up reading those books. And um, I will probably be collecting those as well. There's plenty of space here for um, books. And so I look forward to that. I need to build up a good um, fantasy library. I've always really, really struggled because I love this stuff. And I grew up with this kind of stuff. And I love tabletop RPGs. And I like to read um, manuals, especially old tabletop RPG manuals. Um, and just love the statistics and the items and the names and all of those things that are so good for the imagination. And I think especially now that I'm playing the Dark Souls um, and like Soulsborne type uh, video games, that that is also inspired. I've always loved the SSI D&D &D, um, box PC. I love um, both Western CRPGs and um, RPGs that hail from Japan as well. Um, I've not been playing as many um, RPGs from Japan as in the past, uh, just for many, many years. That's all I played. I still just love Japanese video games in general. Um, there's just something there um, to be said about those games. Um, but I also enjoy some Western um, CRPGs like Ultima, um, Wizardry, especially, and its influence, of course, upon role-playing games created in Japan, um, Heroes of Might and Magic, all of that kind of stuff. But I really love those SSI um, gold box, silver box, um, strategic simulations, um, PC games. PC RPGs are just cool to me. DOS games that are like that are very cool to me. Um, I like that kind of stuff, even though stuff that's very minimal. Um, I like things like Rogue and stuff like that as well. So there's only so much time in the day, and I love to do my dense um, philosophy, religion, and actual um, classical literature, as in Greek and Latin especially, but also um, I enjoy some more modern novels as well, and especially um, also a lot of nonfiction um, readings. So sometimes it's kind of hard. But at the same time, I decided I'd probably go ahead and collect these just as I love um, also collecting comic books and graphic novels and um, things of that nature. So it's just a quick look. I'm trying to index some of this stuff um, at uh, Dungeons & Dragons, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, Dragonlance and Forgotten Realms, Ravenloft book here. And um, I'm going to be getting some other, there's some other paperbacks by R.A. Salvatore I'll probably collect. Like I said, I like the Baldur's Gate and um, also the Diablo books. Uh, just love that kind of stuff. Not nearly as much as I love stuff of more traditional swords and sorcery. Um, maybe stuff that would be created by Robert E. Howard, such as Conan, Cole, Red Sonja, um, even Solomon Cain. But that is another story and another video for another time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Uh, just a short little video to upload today. Thank you so much. This is Justin Williams Savoy. Peace.